The rally in Butler, Pennsylvania was supposed to be former President Donald Trump's last campaign stop before the Republican National Convention. The speech was to a packed crowd in a critical swing state, but in just a matter of minutes, it was cut short. Take a look at what happened. Um, I'm at the Trump rally and somebody just started shooting. Bullets. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't firecrackers. I mean, they weren't they weren't super loud shots, but you could tell they were they were you know. They you were, could hear it shots. landed. The yeah. ammunition yeah. landed and, and on was, metal. Right. Multiple witnesses say they saw the suspected shooter climb to an elevated position outside the rally venue, which was less than 150 meters away from where Trump was speaking. He's on top of the roof. Don't go over there. He's on the roof, buddy. So we're standing there. You know, we're pointing. We're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. The FBI identified the shooter as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Secret Service agents fatally shot Crooks at the scene. Trump said in a statement that the upper part of his right ear was pierced in the shooting. In a statement issued shortly after the attack, Trump's campaign said he was, quote, fine, unquote. Authorities say one attendee was killed and two spectators were critically injured in the first assassination attempt on a U.S. president or presidential candidate since 2005.